everybody. Good to be with you again. Got a special song for you here. It's called Rather Be. Let's jump right in. All right, so this song was requested. Thank you for the request. Beautiful song. I really enjoy it. It's by Luke Satal Singh uh, featuring Christina Perry. And there were no charts on the internet anywhere, so I put together the chords as best as I could uh, do with the listening to it. So hopefully this is close. Uh, if it's not, I apologize. Did the best I could. The chart will be available in the description so you can uh, print or download a PDF there, okay? Um, let's look first at the intro. All right, the chords we're gonna use for the intro uh, are B minor. This is middle C, by the way, right here. Okay, so we're gonna have a B, B minor in our left hand, B, D, and F sharp, and then we're gonna go to an A. And then actually C sharp over G sharp, I discovered, is going to be the uh, C sharp chord. So it should be over G sharp there. And then back to the B minor, it does it twice. B minor, and then to the A, and then C sharp over G sharp. That's what's happening in the left hand. I'll show you the right hand here in a second. Quick note on this song, it's in the key of A. You wouldn't know that by looking at the chords. You're going to go, how is this in the key of A? But uh, a key is a combination of notes. So when you look at the combination of notes, the naturals and the sharps that occur in the song, uh, that's what tells you that it's the key of A. Because you have an F sharp, a G sharp, a C sharp. Uh, those are clues to it being in the key of A because the key of A has those three sharps. Okay, so uh, now let's look at the right hand. Uh, basically, I'm going to show you kind of a melody and then one little note we're going to add to it. But it goes like this. to that E there at the end and the rhythm's a little different you'll see when we put our left hand in uh, how it meets together but again one more time okay and what we're going to do in our right and uh, in our left hand when we play that is we're just going to roll the chord so it's one and two three four one and two So when we put both hands together, uh, it's going to sound like this. We're going to roll the left hand and play the right hand uh, at the same time. There's a little pickup note. The first A is a pickup note. That's your downbeat. That's the intro. Now let's take a look at the verse. Nice thing about the verse actually is it's identical to the intro. So basically you're singing over what you're playing. So you're just going to keep playing the intro and you're going to sing the silent sound. Have you fallen asleep yet? I simmer down. it goes to a C major okay so we've been doing C minor we're gonna actually go to the C major right there okay uh, so basically the only change is the E goes to E sharp or F there okay on uh, the very end of the core of the bridge and you're still by my side. Here's where we're going to get into the chorus. So now let's take a look at the chorus. So the chords of the chorus, beautiful chords, really awesome. We're going to do in the left hand uh, the name of the chord, F sharp. And in the right hand, we're going to play the F sharp in first inversion, A, C sharp, F. Okay, then we're going to go to a C sharp minor, 
So the difference here with the chorus and the verse, in the verse we were rolling our left hand, and the chorus we're going to roll our right hand, okay? So now we got C sharp minor, G sharp, C sharp, E, okay, this is second inversion. And then we go to a D chord here, D in the left hand, A, D, F sharp. And just as a minor, uh, a note here, you'll often hear them do, add that little E in there. So when you hear that little and you go, what is that cool sound? That's, that's the D going to the E, or the two is what it would be called, okay? Okay, and then A, A, C sharp, E. Okay, now here's something interesting. We're going to do a B minor 7. We're going to go back to the D chord in our right hand. These are the notes that make up a B minor 7. So B minor is here, the 7th is the A. Okay, so notice that D chord is hidden in there. So we're going to play a D chord in our right hand and the B in the bass. That's why I put in parentheses D over B. Okay, it's just a B minor 7 chord. And then you go to the D chord. Okay. And then after that, you're going to go to an E chord down here, okay? E way down here, G sharp, B, and E. And then there's this transition chord that happens where you're going to do stay with the B and the G sharp here. I play the F. This is actually an F diminished chord, okay? So this would actually be spelled F, A flat, C flat if you were to spell it, not... It is a G sharp or an A flat, and this is a B or a C flat. But so that's the chord there, and then it takes you back to the F sharp minor, C sharp minor, D. I'm giving you a little clue here as we go through for the sound of how you're going to play it. Okay, B minor seven, and then you stay on the D and play the E down here. Okay, so we kept the E, so this is a, or kept the D, this is a D over E. And then, uh, that's, and then that's the chorus, okay? The next chorus, chorus two, you'll actually resolve to the A there. But in this chorus, you hold that chord out, and then you go back into the... That's the interlude or a repeat of the intro, okay? Now let's listen to the chorus with the rhythm. You're going to roll from the bottom to the top. One and two and. Okay. And then C sharp minor like that. Okay, and here in like... That's how I, if you were to play it, you're going to go roll through it, go right to the... F sharp diminished or F diminished and takes you in, into the F sharp minor. Okay? And I'll play the, the, the two there. Okay? Now let me do it and I'm going to sing. I'm not real good. I just found this song today, but I'm going to try and sing it so it's like this. Falling back. the idea hopefully you can feel it and hey at least i won't get a copyright strike so that's always good all right so then you go into the intro again do it two times you go to the verse two times or through the verse and into the chorus now let's take a look at the chorus here chorus two is essentially the exact same the only thing that changes is the ending so you're gonna go uh, the words are different right which is why i call it chorus two but if you're under pressure Floating helplessly Holding on for a pay raise We'll be wild and free With the curtain falling Standing next to me There's nowhere that I'd rather be It goes to the A there and then it goes 
goes back to the moon, there's nowhere that I'd rather be. And how you end there is kind of up to you, but that's the basic idea. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you again for the suggestion. What a great song. Beautiful song. Uh, thank you for the, su the suggestions. Keep them coming. Don't forget to check me out on all streaming platforms. Hope you'll listen to my music. Check out on Amazon. I've got a book, some books out there. would love for you to check them out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.